Ah, what do we have here? An eager traveler, I think. Word of the Grand Festival has no doubt reached your ears, and having packed a quick bag and bid a hasty farewell to your kin, you've now cast your adventurous eyes upon Ethos Island, where, if the tales you've heard are true, a wondrous celebration is currently underway to commemorate the Four Elders, this being the historic island, after all, where first they met. That's a fine name you have, incidentally. It goes quite well with your appearance. I myself have nothing but time on my hands, but I do vaguely recall how sweet the taste of freedom was. So, I'll not detain you with colorful reminiscence about the Great Battle, or the deaths of the Four Elders, or their vanquishing of Malak. Nor will I repeat any of the ominous whispers I've heard of late concerning the town of Summer's Hollow, the heart of the festival. Doing so would only give you an uneasy pause, and, as we've established, you are in a hurry. Passage in the Seven Realms requires a bit of paperwork, as you've by now discovered. I sense a true hero in our midst, but which of the four elders do you claim as your ancestor? The warrior, Merit, the huntress, Celestia, the priest, Voltan, or perhaps it is the sorceress, Calypso. I do hope you take all of this seriously. Some of us aren't even allowed to possess ink and parchment, let alone be given the opportunity to travel. Oh, how I envy watching you fill in your personal details. Well, the festival does draw many to these shores. Speaking of which, I see the lights now and can hear the music. <laughs> ah, and now we come to that section of which all of your foes would treasure a peek at. The feats and proficiencies of a hero speak to the very essence of the champion. The ability to thrive in the Seven Realms, however, does not rest solely upon one's prowess in battle. Far from it. Of equal importance are your attributes as a villager. So please go enjoy the festival and pay no mind at all if you happen to hear the occasional whisper of an old evil having crept back into this mystic land. Ridiculous.
You're not prone to seasickness, are you? The voyage to the Island of the Elders can be arduous for some. I wouldn't know myself, having never done it. But I do rather enjoy watching some of you stagger and wobble off the boat, desperate for not just solid ground, but a patch of land that you might call your own. Is that your intent, then? To build a home here? Oh, I see that it is. Let's have a look around, shall we? My, how this island has prospered since my day. I remember when it was little more than a crusty rock, inhabited only by foul beasties and howling monstrosities. Of course, back then, there was no light to speak of. Malak had firmly plucked the sun from the sky, and his poisonous shadow magic, having sunk deep into the veins of the earth, ensured that nothing in the land would grow. Not so now, though. Such abundance and mirth you see around you, decay and terror, have been replaced by twinkling enchantments, thriving life, and great camaraderie. To be fair, though, I should let you know that even after all these years, traces of Malak's presence can still be felt. His statues, cold and fierce, gaze ruefully out at the remnants of where once stood a formidable castle, and his torches, well cursed with dark magic, still hunger to take nightmarish creatures will always be found in places such as this, so do tread cautiously. Ah, but you are no doubt a capable hero, so I needn't alarm you with such talk. And, as everyone knows, Malik was vanquished long ago by the Four Elders. Hard to imagine so bright a land as this ever being plunged back into darkness, isn't it? Now then, I believe you have a festival to get to. Summer's Hollow awaits. How's everything going, hero? Hero? <laughs> I could use a hero. There's a certain elegance to crafting. It's so much more than mere sweat and labor. It is art. <laughs> I 
Something tells me you got a shot, man. How is everything going, hero? Thank you. 